Hello everybody, this is Yasmin from YarxperryFantasyArt.com and welcome to another illustration video tutorial. In this week's tutorial, I'm actually drawing a landscape of heaven. Uh, this was a special request once again. Um, now, I did actually technically work on two versions. The first version was not uh, essentially heavenly enough. Uh, I didn't incorporate enough of the elements I was hoping to include in this drawing. So I did end up redrawing it uh, to give it more of that feel. I also found that the colors in uh, this piece were just simply too washed out uh, to essentially be a place that's very happy. Uh, so for this reason I ended up uh, redrawing pretty much everything that you see here uh, to better suit the actual theme of this. So as you can see though, um, I'm just starting right off the bat with essentially color, uh, even if the color is mostly in the grayish tones. And I've also started off with a lighter background. The reason why I did that is because I didn't want to darken out this image too quickly. By darkening it out too quickly, um, I make it look too much more of a, a dark atmosphere when I was trying to achieve the complete reverse. Uh, it's also partly due to this I actually ended up uh, repainting it is because the colors were not the correct colors for this image and uh, neither was uh, the actual subject matter. Now in both of these renditions I actually essentially created uh, two areas. Uh, one was essentially a city in the clouds where people could hang out, um, enjoy each other's company. Uh, but there's also a second city and a second level to this area. Uh, the second level is actually only for the angels, for the guardians themselves. Uh, the reason for this is they are not supposed to necessarily mingle with humans. Um, they're supposed to only look after them. Uh, they're essentially just there to make sure that we're essentially well taken care of. So for this reason, I essentially gave them their own palaces and their own uh, area in which to live up on top of the clouds which is not accessible to the average human. And because this is also um, essentially you don't have very much technology, everything's provided to you, there's really no way for humans to actually be able to make it to there. So there's actually a distinctive separation in this layout uh, for the two groups. Now obviously um, we're well off in this area, we're well taken care of, um, but the core element is the fact that there's still a separation between these two groups. Now as you can see I've just restarted this entire drawing. Uh, the reason why I did that once again is because the colors were not vibrant enough for an area that was supposed to be um, very positive, uh, very upbeat. So I changed my color palette and I started with a much brighter tones um, as you can see right now and I still included this separation. Uh, but I also provided uh, the humans with an opportunity to um, actually communicate directly to the angels. Essentially, if they're willing to, uh, they can actually climb up a very large mountain. And at the top, they would be allowed to actually um, essentially talk to the humans. Uh, at first, I started off with the building designs, as you could see. Uh, I decided not to incorporate those elements uh, because they just didn't fit with that down-to-earth uh, feeling I was trying to give. Um, I wanted this to be more closer to the earth, uh, more natural looking, less man-made. Uh, so I reduced the number of buildings and I pushed them out into the distance. Uh, the main reason for that is that you're more drawn to the fact that it's quiet, it's tranquil, um, there's not much going on, uh, it's very pleasant atmosphere. But at the same time, uh, for those who wish to endure the difficulties of climbing that mountain, the reward is also there. They can actually, once again, talk to these angels and uh, seek to actually um, learn more from them. So it just started on the building there. Because uh, this mountain is my main focal point in this drawing, I do sp end up spending quite a bit of time on that area. Um, obviously, I have to do that because it is a main focal area um, and because it has uh, so much of a story to it. 
Now this entire drawing was actually fairly short. Uh, even though I did two of them, I actually technically did two of them in about five hours. Uh, the first one took about two hours and the second one was about two, two and a half hours as well. So they were both very short. Um, they weren't very time consuming because they were more of a preconception idea and layout. Uh, so I wasn't going overly detailed in these drawings as well. So I'm just adding some of the yellow tones because I do want to show that golden atmosphere uh, because essentially we, the golden light uh, tends to be very uh, indicative of sunlight. So I did want to incorporate some of those bright yellows. Uh, so the bright yellows actually end up coming from a very odd uh, point of origin that you'll see later on. Now I'm just pushing certain areas back because I don't want to add too much detail and I also need to make sure that other details read correctly. Uh, so depending on the distance I'm pushing the certain areas back and I'm pushing other areas forward as a result. Uh, this helps ensure that there's a lot of depth to the image and that's something that I am trying to achieve. I'm trying to achieve and force that depth to make this image more appealing. So I just started on the castle on top of the clouds as you can see. Working on some of those uh, background mountains in the distance. Really trying to break apart those silhouettes uh, to keep them all very interesting as well at the same time. I'm adding uh, different levels to that building so the certain areas are receding behind it while other areas are coming forward. Just uh, working out some of the structure on uh, these rocks and stones that the building's actually hanging off of. Now this is the building essentially where uh, the humans would actually remain for most part. Uh, the main reason why most of the humans remain in this area is because obviously they need to rest. Uh, so this is essentially a large castle where they can rest uh, in peace um, when they're not uh, going about uh, enjoying their daily activities. So the angel's domain, which is actually um, above, is essentially a second layer of clouds, uh, actually feeds uh, water within this lower region of clouds. So although they're technically separated, they are actually connected as well um, through this uh, interlacing of uh, water and nutrients. Because essentially this water is keeping this layer um, of cloud area uh, very active, very alive. So it's it's very much an important part of life in this area. Now I'm just making sure that uh, the contrast levels between the water and the clouds are really there so you can tell the difference. I'm also adding some of that rock light surface to the bottom of the clouds because although it's suspended it needs some form of uh, solidity and by adding the rocks it gives uh, some solidity to that uh, formation. But adding some additional blues and greens into the piece it's actually just bumping up uh, some of those colors to make it more appealing. Adding some additional highlights to pull other areas out more. And I'm doing that both in uh, the mountains on the below but also in the clouds above. Now I'm just checking to make sure that uh, everything is lined up correct because I wasn't too happy with the initial composition. I just went in there and actually added uh, the second uh, rock formation that you currently see me adding. And I'm just adding that in there because uh, it didn't have enough going for it. Uh, so by adding that it really helped fill up that empty space. Bumping up some of the shadows and some of the highlights. And every time I bump up something, I tend to uh, 
make sure that certain areas also recede. Um, if I don't do this, then uh, things tend to look too flat. So I'm doing that right now with the clouds above. Uh, just making sure that certain areas are more clear. And this drawing is actually nearly completed. I'm just adding the angels in now. Uh, so these are essentially the guardians that are just, you know, patrolling, making sure that all the humans are, are safe. And I'm adding some additional yellows to it and highlights uh, just to really help bump everything up. Now I'm just adding a, another angel light character. Um, he's watching from a distance. Once again, he's not supposed to actually make contact with the humans. Uh, but he's still looking over them. And this is the final drawing. If you want to have your say on what's drawn for next week's video tutorial, or have some additional questions about my drawing process, please leave a comment below. I will take the feedback you guys give me and try to answer your questions while working on next week's painting. If you want to see some of my previous works, please feel free to check out the annotations on the side of this video or visit my channel for the full playlist. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you and take care.